I'm already halfway through looking at a house and I wasn't gonna vlog, but here we are. There's Jasmine. All right, so we are in one of my favorite neighborhoods. It's historic downtown Bryan and this absolute beauty of a house is up for sale. And my favorite thing about it is it's on half an acre and there's space where I could put the ag wagon back here and have its own private drive and maybe even fence it off. But look how gorgeous. So like there's kind of, say hi Janet. Look at that tree, by the way, that magnificent tree, this little backyard area, a little garden, and then all of this back here. So I'm thinking there's street entrance there, or there's street sidage, and I could have a little, oh, there's a garage back here? Janet, did you know there was a garage back here? It's one of the short ones where you have to bend to get in. Can we go in? These are all over the place. They're kind of like a basement. They're not quite tall enough to get into, but you can use it for storage. So it's not, is it a garage if you can't fit a car inside? I wouldn't think so. I remember the listing saying two car garage, but I didn't see it, so I didn't believe it. We were doing all right, oh no. Look, a little stairway. Yeah, I could see the ag wagon nestled over there in between the trees. I love it so far. Janet said that this sold six months ago, August of last year. Right now it's April. Do you know the price? Was it 165? 130. Yeah, so cheap as hell. And I think they did some flippy stuff. So now it's 200. But I love it. This tree, though, y'all. Look. <sighs> it it reaches like out over there. I'm not impressed by designer brands. I'm, I'm impressed by trees and rocks. All right, let's go look at the house. Yeah, and they moved it inside, that's better. All right, so deck, which you can't park in, but that's fine. All right, the master is huge. Look at these windows. This is the closet, washer dryer hookup in here. And then the wee is your bathroom. That would be Jacob's. All right, so this is a three, two. Here's the kitchen, which is gorgeous. Yeah, all these countertops look new. Beautiful fridge, beautiful windows. All right, let me zoom you guys out. All right, here's the kitchen. This is the living room with gorgeous ceilings. Janet was saying these used to be covered with some sort of like tack cloth, but I love the look of the wood ceilings. Here's the dining room. Very cool built-in bookcase. Bedroom number two. Little nook. Beautiful, gorgeous windows. Cute little phone stand. Bathroom. So I guess this is just a one and a half bath. The floors are very creaky, <laughs> but I think they're the original floors. And then, oh, love a glass doorknob. the house from out front. How cute is this? So you see there's some kind of, since this property goes to that tree, I could build a second driveway and kind of separate the ag wagon from this property. We would have to live in this and I'd run out the duplex. I love it. All right. Ooh, you think I should go under this thing? Let me, if he, if he doesn't have any offers, I think so. Okay. If he does, we should probably. Full price? Yeah. I was, I was thinking you were going to say we'd need to go over to get it. Well, maybe. Let me see what he says. Okay. You, you know the realtor? I don't know him. Oh, really? I have no idea. Mm -mm. I she knows all the realtors. <laughs> been around a while. Right. Well, I'm here. Oh. You could have sold me on the place by these two windows alone. <laughs> just, just sit me right here and I'm good forever. <laughs> I love it. All right, well, we're gonna put an offer in. Oh, 
Interesting. You know what? I mean, this house is from like 35, so yeah. I, I can appreciate the use of every single little space. I mean, you can fit stuff in there. It's not a huge pantry, but there are a ton of cabinets too. Look at this. Oh, oh my goodness. That's... Okay, so what's weird about this is that the shelves kind of engage with each other, but that probably also means that you can't really put much... Like, come here, look. It, uh, they cut into each other. So you can't really have much here or else that's gonna cut into it. Oh. Or maybe maybe the cutout works and it doesn't overlap that much. I don't know. That's a good I love it though. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful gas or not gas stove. Actually, yeah, that is gas, it's isn't range, it? Yeah. Gas range, deep sink, beautiful fridge, beautiful dishwasher. Yeah. Love it. All right, so Janet, check with the agent. There have already been six offers and they're hoping to button it up tonight. Today is the second day this has been on the market. Um, so we're offering 220, which is 20,000 over. And Janet thinks that there might, it might not appraise for that, but I have enough funds where what I could do is a, I've already forgotten the name of it, but essentially I would pay up to 15,000 out of pocket if the appraisal isn't up to snuff. So if it only appraises for 200, then I would pay up to 215. And if people are watching me vlog, I do not care. Uh, I would pay up to 215, essentially 200 for the mortgage and then 15 out of pocket. I have just enough saved where I could put 5% down. So 10,000 down for the house and then up to 15K over appraisal. So if it appraises for 200, then I would pay up to 215. If it appraises for 220, I would still only pay 215. My offer would be up to 215. They could kind of take it or leave it. And if it appraised for over 220, which she doesn't think it will, but she's gonna look at other houses in this neighborhood and what they sold for, then I could just pay less and get the mortgage for the full amount. I would not be willing to do this for most houses, pay over what it would appraise for, but this location is perfect. It is enough land where I can do stuff. It is a beautiful home that I could live in for as long as we needed to. And just running the math on it, if it's gonna be $1,500, $1,600 a month, I'll be making about $1,200 a month off of the B side of the duplex. And then Jacob will probably still contribute 500. So I could still swing it, plus any costs that come up. That would still keep my expenses pretty low and I might have to contribute a little bit to this house but that would be okay because then I could also put the ag wagon here and stop paying $500 a month lot rent. I love it. I want it. The numbers work uh, not necessarily as a rental but for me to live in. I would probably only I'd probably be able to rent it out for maybe $1,500 a month. It's a 3-2 historic beautiful neighborhood big yard but I mean, that doesn't meet the 1% rule, but that's okay. I think this would be a good investment. It would continue to grow in value. And if I could put a secondary unit here, and it's in Bryan, so we're good on restrictions. If I could put a secondary unit here, that would also add value. And it could be a really fantastic long-term property. Normally, I'd shy away from something that's from the 30s, but it was, it's been beautifully redone. Other than some squeaky floors, it looks, I mean, it's moving ready. I'd paint the front door, and that's literally it. Okay. Wish me luck. They just got an offer for 240 cash. I can't beat that. So, buy a little blue house. That was perfect. <laughs> On to the next one. Honestly, this still isn't as bad as the A-frame because at least they didn't string me along for a week. One day, one day we'll get there. One day we'll get one.